ads like butter. Did you guys see that? What did you think of that? Like, should a Chinook be able to handle the bumps and dips like that? Of course it should after we're done with it here at Well Tech Design. So, dude, let's go check out this awesome Chinook. What's up everybody? I'm back. I'm Jeremy from Weld Tech Designs or maybe from Growing Up Garage. Maybe a little bit of both. And what I have here is some duct tape and if you're wondering what this duct tape is for, I'm going to duct tape Austin's mouth shut as he is sick behind me, coughing up, doesn't know what to do, the camera's getting crazy. So maybe we'll just be like, here Austin, put this on, you know, like, ah, there it is. So anyways, this might take a couple takes, but we're going to have some fun. I got the duct tape ready, Austin, just in case you're just getting out of control. What's up, though? Check this thing out. This thing is awesome. So our man Drew dropped this off, Drew and Winnie, and they said they had just picked this Chinook up and they wanted to put the Weld Tech Touch on it. So what did we do? Of course, you know it, we love it, you love it now. And if you don't love it, it's because you're not driving one. And what we've done on this is put our Baja Grocery Getter Kit. And I'm gonna throw up a card right there because if you don't know, I'm gonna show you guys how to install this kit. And you can also search our YouTube channel for the Baja Grocery Getter Kit. And you're gonna see a ton of vans that we put this on and that you guys are out stomping, having a good time playing with them so this thing sits awesome i really like it and you can see man it just drove nice i mean that dip some man you don't even want to do that in a stock van and now it's just it's the best when you do it in one of these when we're all done so up front we did our complete baja grocery getter kit in the front which is going to include your modified i-beams it's going to include your extended radius arms it's also going to come with the radius arm brackets What's great about those brackets is it's allowing us to cheat that suspension farther forward in that wheel well, which is great. We love that. Um, it's going to be our coils and then our Fox shocks that are specifically valved for these vehicles. And then to top it all off, we're adding that Fox steering stabilizer on there to control it. Now these tires are just too new, so we weren't able to change out the tires and run something bigger but we look forward to getting some pictures and some updates this thing is headed up to seattle um, once they get that done hopefully in the future we get some more pictures and we can update you guys um, of what they're doing and what's going on in the back of this we added our full custom leaf springs we did the weight of this thing and as you get a get to check this thing out a nice view of it you're gonna see that things things that blah 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 blue this thing sits really nice how about that okay so in the back we're definitely a little bit higher which is going to be nice so if they want to add weight to it tow with it it's not going to be putting this thing on its ass it's going to sit really nice with our custom springs in there and as you peek your head in there you can see all those new leaf springs and if we showed you the old ones you would just laugh at how just crappy they were another thing that this had on it was the sumo spring what is it called I don't know, it's the spring set up with like the cushion. I'm gonna, it's gonna come to me. It's not the sumo spring. Hmm. Uh... I don't know, somebody comment below. I know you guys are gonna know the name of it. I'm <laughs> stepping on Austin's duct tape here. Yeah, see, this is just a mess. All right, so it originally had those cushiony spring things that were torn and ripped and it made the rear of this ride like poo poo so we eliminated all that we went back to the stock setup and we put new shackle hangers new shackles on this so when it comes to the back of this all new bushings all new everything and then to top it off of course we added our fox shocks to the rear of this but just if you case you 
have one of these. It has that setup in the rear, and man, it's gonna kill me that I can't think of the name of it. So I know one of you guys know you have it on it. Yours, you've taken it off, or you hate it. Um, or maybe you're thinking about putting it on. I wouldn't do it, but that's just me, and I don't know very much. But anyways, what's great about this is, as you can see now, all this additional clearance that we're gonna have with the plumbing that is underneath this because otherwise that thing sat really low and I could definitely see if you were going to be doing any kind of off-roading or remote camping that you're going to be tearing your plumbing off and then it's going to be a very poopy day, if you know what I mean. <coughs> so, enough about the outside. That's all we really did to the outside except this, man, this gray is still looking really nice. Dude, let's go check out the inside of this thing before Austin just melts and it's locked. And this is what I always do. I leave the keys up in the front and I lock the back. All right, so um, enjoy this short time out for a second by our sponsors. Uh, maybe not our sponsor, but hey, check out this sweet, awesome shirt that I have on, which is SFOA, super fun outdoor adventure. And if you don't know what it's at, that is, and you are in Southern California, October 19th, super cool event, really nice area in like San Juan Capistrano, Orange County area. Um, we will be there hanging out with one or two or three vans. So if you wanna come check out some of the WildTech really cool vans, we will be there hanging out, having a good time. Um, it's also a great thing to come and check out other products that you may be interested in, but that's a super fun outdoor adventure plug. And that's the end of that commercial. Not that it's really a commercial. <laughs> kind of need these things to get into the back of it. So they work well, you know? All right, let's go check it out. All right, guys. So if you want to know the time, it's 545. It says so right there. Don't think that's correct and probably hasn't worked in a while. But I have to tell you, this thing is ultra clean inside here. I mean, the varnish on this wood is just... It's just beautiful, I love it. But there's not really any need for me to talk about this. I'm just gonna have Austin get some killer B-roll. I just wanna say that I really like this. And if I had two or four people, like this works perfect. I'm like bed here, this is gonna fold out into a bed. And we're having a party. I mean, we got a good sized fridge, we got a sink. And you know, we got a toilet out back and we got we got a TV right here straight from 1999. Look at that. I mean, this thing probably goes like a foot into there. So if you were to get rid of that, I mean, that's a ton of storage. Probably like, yeah, look at that. Ton of storage up in there. Super cool. We got the AudioVox VHS player. And what's funny is Austin is probably so young that he doesn't even know what a VHS player even is. Like, hey Austin, you wanna grab a VHS tape and put it in there? He's got no clue. Like, nope, before his time. But I love it, you know? You guys want VHS or beta? Come on, like, comment below. Let's hear it. How many of you guys remember it, don't remember it? Too young, too old, super cool. And this is probably another one that Austin's barely gonna remember too, is check out this awesome CD player. You know, like, that's the funny part is anyone you know, that's under the age of 22, might not even know what CDs are. So that's it for me. I'm done showing you guys this thing. I'm out of here. I'm gonna let Austin film this thing. And otherwise, I will see you guys on the next video.